A fiery horse with a speed of light. A cloud of dust and a hearty hi silver. The Lone Ranger. natural resources of the early western United States offer the pioneers a chance at a new life. And the masked rider of the plains believed that every honest man had a right to this chance. He visioned the new country as a land of equal opportunity, and he fought for life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness just as fiercely as he fought for law and order. Return with us now to those thrilling days when the West was young. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver! We're heading for Cottonwood! There's work to be done! Hello, Silver! Hooray! The Lone Ranger and his faithful Indian companion, Tonto, were headed toward Cottonwood. Their destination was not the town itself, but a tiny cottage about a mile from the outskirts. As they drew near, they cut away from the trail and approached the cottage from the rear. That's the widow Ridgely's place, Kimosabe. Ah. Looks as if she hasn't had much luck with her garden this year. Everything seems to be just about burned up. Mm, that bad. Poor woman. She hasn't had an easy time of it. Ah. When her husband died, he left her practically penniless. She was well along in years even then, and in bad health in the bargain. On top of everything, she had too much pride to let people know how poor she was. He almost starved to death before Sam Otis found out about it. Him, good fella. A fine man, Tutter. He must have provided for her for five or six years. That right. He wasn't any too well off himself. If he had been, I'm sure that when he died, his will would have made some provision for her. Uh-huh. But he didn't, I understand. That's why I wanted to see her. Sorry I didn't learn about the situation sooner. What we do? Well, first of all, we'll see how she's making out. Uh-huh. If she's already found help, that'll be fine. But if she hasn't... Well, we're going to do something to see that she doesn't suffer from want. Who that there? Where? There, young fella, round front. The young woman, both talking with Mrs. Ridgely. Down to this way. Come on, Silver. Oh, get him up, Scout. We'll get out of sight. No use alarming them by the sight of a masked man when there's no need. Here, this'll do, Kim. Uh, pull up. Oh, Silver. Oh, oh Scout. Oh. Oh. Quiet, Silver. Tell her. Those young people were dressed like Easterners. Not right. Wait. What matter? I overheard a bit of their conversation just then, Tata. Sounded like something we should hear. Move the horses a little closer. The porch will protect us. Bless your heart, you're so kind. I wish I knew how to thank you for all you've done, but well, I reckon I just ain't got the words for it. I declare I'm most crying. You think I'm awful silly. Mrs. Risley, my brother and I think you're one of the bravest women we know. Oh, sure. <laughs> but will you promise us one thing? After you and your sister bringing me them heaping baskets of grub and paying my rent to the bank and everything, young man, you can ask me anything you like. Then do this. Don't tell anyone what we've done. Oh, but land sakes. Please, Mrs. Risley, Jack means it. There's no need to let it be known. It... 
Well, is it anyone's business but our own if friends help each other out? <laughs> this I isn't charity, you know. You're in trouble and we like you. Maybe someday we'll be in trouble and you can help us. Oh, what could a poor body like me do? It isn't what you can do, it's... It's what you would do if you could. Oh, but I... There's think a you... promise. Now, mind you, don't go back on it. <laughs> My, what can a body do with a pair like you? <laughs> well, Dot, we better be getting along. Yes, we... Uh, Mr. Murdoch, wait. Um, yes? I just thought, maybe I can help you a little. Oh? You won't take offense at anything the poor widow might say, would you? Why, of course not. What is it, Mrs. Ridgely? Well... Well, of course, I know you're both from the East, and ain't neither one of you been in these parts long, so naturally, you well, you wouldn't be so good acquainted with things in the way. I believe I know what you're going to say. People don't like me here. They they think I'm a coward. Oh, but you ain't. It's just that things are much strange to you, yet that's all. I came here and brought Dot because Mr. Thornton promised to make me express agent. <laughs> now, every time I ask him about it, he puts me off. Half the time when I see him, Joe munches along. I think Mr. Thornton's just trying to find a polite way to tell me I'm not the man for the job and he's going to give it to Job instead. Well, if, if that's the way he wants it, let him. Don't talk that, that way, Jack. You know what you ought to do, young man? What? The next time Job tries to bully you, you just up and give him the licking he's been asking for. I've known Job Munch since he was knee-high to a toad. He's just a sneak and a yellow bully, that's what. Stand up to him and he'll crawl. And if you do... Yes? Your brother'll get that job. Mark my words if you don't. Ain't no man Mr. Thornton likes so much as a fighter. Well, I've never had a fight in my life. Oh. <laughs> I savvy men, folks, young feller. Fighting ain't something they have to be taught. When the time comes for it, they take to it natural. Just like a duck takes to water. Well... Well, I'll do my best. You just better. But I... I'm afraid my best won't be good enough. You... You hear that? I heard it, Tonto, and I don't like it. Uh, I ran across Job Munch and Pecos. You know, fella? He's a cheap bully. A thief when he thinks he can get away with it. The one man in the world I'd never put in a position of trust. Uh, what do you think of young fella? That fella Mrs. Ridgely calls Jack Murdoch? Uh. I think that thanks to him, Mrs. Ridgely is once more secure. Not right. He deserves more than a refusal when he's come all this way for a job. Uh -huh. We'll look into this, Kimasabi. That's a good idea. But if he needs help, he'll get it. Come on, sir. Get him up, Scott. Come on, little fellow. Come on. No, no more, Barkeep. That'll be enough. Have to get back to the office. I have things. Oh, yeah. well, well, Mr. Thornton. Oh, uh, hello, young fellow. Yeah, well, Looking for me, were you? Yes, I. Uh, uh, sorry, Jack, but I was just telling the barkeep here I've got work at the office. Uh, see me later, huh? Now, if you'll excuse me. No. Uh, uh, what is Look it? here, Mr. Thornton. You've got to listen. Oh, I do, do I? Yes, you do. You've got to tell me what you're going to do about that job at the office. Am I going to get it? You. You promised me I would, but. But since then, you've just been putting me off. And... One moment. Well? I don't hire any man out of hand. First, I've got to know something about him. I have to have time to size him up. Now, how long have you been here? Just two weeks, but... Mm -hmm. There you see. Two weeks. No time at all. You'll have to be patient, young man. But you didn't tell me all this in your letter. Well, I When thought... I was in the East, you wrote me to come right out. Just the same as said when I got here, the job would be mine. Didn't say anything then about... Well, about waiting to size me up. There was a reason for that. What reason? I knew your father. I, uh, well, I'd expected to find you more like him than you are. I won't say you disappointed me, but I will say that I'm not at all certain you're fitted for the work. Maybe I'm wrong. It'll take time to tell. And I'm just to wait? Unless you prefer to look elsewhere for employment. You're under no obligation to me, you know. I see. Jack, I know just how you feel. But believe me, I can't tell you anything else. But, Mr. Thornton, No, I... there's no use discussing it any further. I'm busy. Good day. Good day. We'll talk this over again some other time. Huh. Barkeep. Uh, you not drink. Huh? Oh, hello, Redskin. What was that you said? You not drink. You heap man. Fire water. No good. Say, what do you care what I do? You good feller. You not drink. I don't see why I can't... Uh, huh. All right, Redskin, you win. 
Billy? That's waiting outside. Guess I was kind of forgetting myself. Uh, Redskin. What matter? Oh, nothing. I, I just wanted to ask you your name. Mine? Me name Tonto. Tonto, huh? Well, Tonto, thanks. I, I guess if you hadn't been here, I might have made a prime fool of myself. You off a reservation or something? What the? My sister. That was my sister. Hey, let me through. Out of my way. Dot. Dot, what's wrong? What was it, Dot? You... Oh. <laughs> There's your brother, miss. <laughs> he came running to the rescue, only he ain't running no more. <laughs> Fact is, when he seen me, kind of looked like he slowed down a heap. <laughs> you see? Dad, what, what happened? Jack, he... Chucks, all I did was say hello to your sister here, and she started yelling like somebody had pulled a gun on her. <laughs> there ain't no women around here that are afraid of Job Munch. <laughs> Most of them like me to talk to him. It isn't true, Jack. He, he grabbed me. What if it did? It was just joking, like. You snake. Eh? What's that? If, if I were just a little closer to your side... Well, <coughs> <laughs> so that's it, huh? Too little to get in fights, huh? You hear that, fellas? <laughs> <laughs> Didn't I always tell you the pilgrim weren't yeller? He's just too small to stick up for himself, that's all. <laughs> he ain't yeller. He's just a little mite. <laughs> Jack, Jack, do something. Don't let him make fun of you like that. Make him take that back. I, uh, I... <laughs> oh, I'm to take it back, huh? <laughs> all right, young fella. Here I am. Go on and make me take it back. There's, there's no need to fight about this, you... Just promise not to annoy my sister again. <laughs> you hear that, fellas? I'm to promise not to bother the girl here. <laughs> Me, I'm to <the> promise. <laughs> Why, shucks, any girl be pleased to have a real man like me pay her some attention. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't that so, miss? <laughs> Come on, now, fess up. Ain't you kind of pleased for me to say howdy when you come walking by? Ain't you now? You... you oh, there just aren't words to tell you how low you are. <laughs> and you, Jack. Dada. I... I'm ashamed of you. I'm going home. All right, we'll... No, don't you come with me. I, I just can't stand to see you. Dad, wait. <laughs> Young fella, you want some advice? Well, get out of town. <laughs> All right, fellas, come on inside. The drinks are on me. <laughs> so Jack backed down when Job challenged him, huh? Ah, uh, that's right. If he has no more backbone than that. He might as well turn around and go back east right now. Oh, that'd be a bad thing. Why? Him help widow woman... Him go, what her do? Well, that's right, Kimasabi. Ah. Man who's willing to do a kindness but doesn't boast about it afterwards has something good in him. Mm, that's right. Here, Silver. Now, what you do? Jack and his mm. sister live in that place just beyond the widow's. Ah. Call Scout. Here, Scout. We're paying them a call. Yep. You, you've got plan? Yes, Kimasabi. Ah. And if it doesn't work, nothing will. Ready? Ah. Hello, Silver. Get him up, Scout. Away. Dot. Oh, Jack, I'm glad you came home. I, I've been so sorry for what I said. I didn't mean it, Jack. I, I've been ashamed of myself ever since. I mean, you didn't say anything that wasn't true. Oh, no, Jack, you're not a coward. How could anyone be expected to fight a great big bully like Job Munch? Well, after what he did, probably any man in town would have, if you'd been their sister. I bet they wouldn't. It's no use, Dot. I, I know now that I am a coward. For a while, I... I hoped it was just like Mrs. Ridgely said, not being used to things, not understanding how... Jack, what is it? Dot, look there. Coming up the trail. A masked man. The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger drama. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
to continue our story. The Lone Ranger and Tonto raced up to the home shared by Jack and his sister and reined in their great mounts before the door. Oh, oh, this'll be... Oh, fella. Oh, 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 Come along. Uh -huh. What do you want? Oh, Tonto. Uh, all right, Tonto, take him. Uh, get him. Oh, you come with me. You, you come with me. Let go of me. Stop it. Throw him to the saddle, Tonto. You know what to do with him. Uh, what are you doing? Don't out, you dare take my uh, brother. Uh, Jack, uh, Jack. Let my brother go. Let him go. He'll not be harmed. You... Inside an hour, he'll be released. You go. In the house. You and I are going to have a talk. As the Lone Ranger explained the reason for his actions, the girl's hostility disappeared. Then the masked man went on to explain the plan he had in mind. Now do you understand why I had to get your brother out of the way? Oh, yes. And you see that the plan I've suggested is the only thing that offers a hope of winning the respect of Thornton and the townspeople for Jack? I... I wonder... You wonder what? If Jack... If Jack will really... Do as I've told you he will? Yes. Can you doubt it? I don't want to. I'm sure he will. You're his sister. You should have as much faith in him as I have. Oh, I do believe in him. Then you'll try it? I will. Good. I... Who? Oh, it's Hunter. Back already? Ah. Uh, Miss Murdoch's agreed to our plan. Ah, uh, that he good. Where's Jack? Him not far. Him walk. Him get here soon. Then we'll be going. Ah. Uh. And that, when your brother gets here... Yes? Convince him that all's well. Masked man, I will. Say it's all right, Dad. I, I suppose it is, but just the same, I don't understand. Why, the masked man and Tonto came here? Yes. I think you will in time, Jack. In fact, I'm sure you will. <laughs> That same afternoon, the masked man and Tonto rode into town. They reined up in the shadow of a building near the cafe and waited until Joe Munch came out. Then they started after him. The masked man leaned forward to adjust his lariat. And that moment, Job disappeared. I saw Job a moment ago, Tonto. Which way did he go? Him walk that way. Towards the livery stable? Uh-huh. And he's likely getting his horse. Keep circling towards the side. Uh-huh. That's where he is. He's been in there long enough to saddle up. Not right. So keep your eyes open. He'll be leaving any time. Get boy. Get on there. There get he is. Uh, get him. Come on, Silver. Get him up, Scout. Hurry, old boy. Hold on there. Hold him. Wait. Get him up. Get him up. I'm that man. Don't use that quirt. Grab the bridle, Tonto. Oh, on, me. Hey, you want to You're coming with us. Come on. Get him up, Scout. Take your hands Come off that horse. Hey, Come on. unwilling captive, the Lone Ranger and Tonto raced out of town and did not draw rein until they had reached their camp several miles away. Here's camp, Tonto. Rain up. Ah. Oh, sir. Oh, 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 You dog oh, gone. Scar, get out of that saddle. Uh, I said get down. Uh, uh, what you call me? Scar, of course. What other name would I use? Scar who? What is this? You're trying to work some game. Uh, all I asked is who you think I am. You're Scar Bowen. Well, I'll be... <laughs> Sorry to spoil your fun, mister, but you just made a mistake. You and the Redskin here got the wrong gent. That story won't go down. I don't know this hombre Scar Bowen. You're not... And I don't know why you want him. But I can tell you this. I ain't him and I can prove it. They expect us to swallow that? You ever see this here Scar hombre? You acquainted with him personal? No, but I... <laughs> well, then that accounts for it. Just had a description of him, huh? Perhaps. Well, then you look here at these. Go ahead, mister, look. Now, what's that? You aren't blind, are you? Letters, of course. <laughs> Take a look at them and see what's written on the front. Well, this one's addressed to Job Munch. Yeah, and look at the others. They're all the same. Yes, I see they are. Yeah, what do you got to say to that? And it looks as if Tonto and I made a mistake. <laughs> you sure did. 
Well, you got any objections to my riding back to town now? Yes, I have. But you just now admitted I want the hombre you was after. Which doesn't alter the fact that if we permit you to ride to town, you won't waste time reporting this to the law. No, I won't, stranger. Honest, I won't. You can go. Gosh, Mr. Thang. But you'll walk. What? Go on your way. Hey, listen, you don't know what you're saying. Get going. But I... Only want some lead thrown your way. All right, all right, I'll go, I'll go. Don't shoot, stranger, don't shoot. I'm a... Uh, and keep uh, going. Uh, him, him heap mad. Uh, <laughs> and we fooled him completely. Uh, uh, Did you get something that'll serve? Uh, me get this. His bandana, huh? Let me have a look at it. Fine, Kimasabi. It's got his initials. Uh, that white Tonto take it. Walking, Job won't reach town for at least four hours. Not right. That suits our purpose perfectly, Kimasabi. He won't be there until dark. Four hours later, Jack and Mr. Thornton were riding toward the boys' home and... There's no use you're coming to our place, Mr. Thornton. Jack, I think there is. But I can't make you see sense, so I'm going to talk to your sister. Maybe she can persuade you to go back east. You wouldn't want me to. Very well. Then she can tell me so herself. Honest, Mr. Thornton, isn't there any chance at all for me to get that job? I've made up my mind, Jack. No. But... And we're really wasting our time discussing it. Well, here we are. Oh. Oh, boy. Oh, oh boy. <coughs> well, what's the matter? I thought you said your sister was at home. Why, she is. Well, it doesn't look it. The door's open. She isn't in the parlor at any rate. Jack. What? Come on, hurry. Someone's been here all right. Just take a look at this room. Why, why it's all torn up. Torn up? Looks like it was hit by a tornado. Dot, where are you, Dot? Dot, can you hear me? Dot, if you're here, answer me. Looks to me as if there's been a fight here or a struggle. But, but I don't understand. I... Wait. Well, what is it? Have you ever seen this before, Mr. Thornton? Have you? A bandana. Yes. But where would that... And the initials on it are J.M. Job Munch. Job. He came here, broke in most likely. He fought with my sister. But, Jack, sounds incredible. Incredible. We're going back to town. Come on. When I find that skunk, what I'll do to him will seem impossible. <laughs> Meanwhile, Job had returned to town and headed straight for the cafe. Weary and footsore, he expected sympathy. But when he told the story of his abduction, the men around the bar seemed to find it more funny than tragic. And the cafe rocked with laughter. <laughs> you look like you've been walking for a week, Job. Well, how do you like hiking, man? Yeah, laugh if you like. But if I ever run across that masked man again, I'm going to gun whip that gent to a friend. <laughs> there he is. What the... Now, easy, Jack. Take it easy. After all, you don't know for sure. Now, wait, Jack. Take your hand off my arm. Job, where's my sister? Say, is everybody loco today? You broke into our house when my sister was alone there. What did you do with her? Hey, now. Where have you been all this evening? Well, well, I was set afoot out in the country and had to walk back to town. Did anyone see you, Job? Well, well, I reckon not, Mr. Thornton. You see, I... And you can't prove you weren't at our place. What in blazes do I care about proving anything to you first? I'll show you. Oh, well, look at the pilgrim light into Joe. Oh, Didn't know he had the nerve. Come on, you need to uphold that. Take this. Oh. Hey, I'll break you in two. Not tonight, you won't. Job, I'm going to give you the thrashing of your life. You stand up and take it. And come on. The crowd moved back to give the two men more room. Their first surprise, the sudden change in the boy, turned to admiration as he took the offensive and kept it. Lighter but much faster, he seemed to avoid the hammer-like blows from Job's great fist for the fraction of an inch. It was the battle of a wild cat and a mountain lion, and the crowd shouted their encouragement. Look at him go! I'm betting on Job! I'll take you on that! The pilgrim's a wild cat! Come on, you ah, Come on! Come on, you I give up, I give up. Don't hit me again. Don't, no. I haven't half started. Hey, come back. Come back here and take the rest of it. All right, then I'll drag you back. Don't run away. Look at Jack chasing. Come back here, you yellow coward. Come back. Come back. Let me get away. That fellow's gone crazy. Let me get away. Stop him. Stop him. Hold on, Jack. You can't catch him. Hold on. Have you ever come back to this town, Job, and a... 
I'll make you wish you hadn't. Stay away from here. Get out and stay out of... What, Dot? <laughs> you look as if you've been in a fight, Jack. What's wrong? Oh, but, the, but the house, it was, it was torn up. I, I found Job's bandana there. I, I hey, Jack, thought that... keep still about all that. Your sister will explain later. A mask, man. Come on, Tonto. Let's get out of here before the crowd gathers. Uh, oh, hold on there. Don't, Jack. They know what they're doing. But, uh, Don't but... even mention them. You heard what he said. I'll explain later. Here comes Mr. Thornton. Miss Murdoch, where are you? Uh, I, uh, everything's all right, Mr. Thornton, but uh, but Dot says right now she she'd rather not talk. Oh, oh, of course. You uh, you understand, don't you? I'm not sure I understand that, Miss. But Jack, I do understand this. I made a mistake about you, young fellow. A mistake? <laughs> I thought you were, uh, well, to be frank, a coward. <laughs> I say I was wrong. <laughs> All I ask is that you never lose your temper with me. Oh, I'm sorry about that, Mr. Thornton. Sorry? Why, you young idiot? Don't you realize I just won you a job? What? <laughs> of course. I want a fighter in this office, Jack. <laughs> and it certainly looks to me as if you're the man. He's bad, all right. I've never seen anybody go to local man. Hey, that's the way. Hey, that's way. Jack, that's wonderful. <laughs> Gosh, Dot, isn't it? And, and, huh? And so were you. Oh, <laughs> Just heard as a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated.